Okay, well it's starting to come together. I've taken a little time and gotten in here with the brushes. I've taken the space bar off underneath that. Those have been taken off to be cleaned. The ribbon reverse, that little plaque has been taken off. Most of the nickel has gone off of that, so I just shined it up. What I use on the Olivers is a Meguiar's. Seems to work the best for me. I'll put a little bit of it on a on an old uh, old sock. It has enough texture that it gets into any crazing or uh, anything like that that's on the paint. I don't use water because I found that water on this type of paint, but you get water on it, let it sit for any time at all, and it turns a, a cloudy white. And it's very hard to get clear again back to the green, so I don't use any uh, water if I can avoid it. If I have to use water, I just put it on there for a second, take it right off, and then put some wax on right behind it. What I've done here, this is the tab lever. I've taken this off, and you have to watch out. I've taken it off and put it away, but there's a little spring right here that if this gets pulled up, that spring will slide right off and you'll lose it. I've had to use a little spring on the end of the pin that always comes out when it breaks. That slides over here pretty well if you need something, if you do lose that or it's not there when you get the machine. So then I just put it back together. I try to use the little witness marks. Uh, when you tighten down the screw and leave it for 100 years, there's little marks. I try to line those back up again so I don't have to do too many adjustments. This right here is the tension for your spring drum. What I'll do is I won't take this off unless it's in really in bad shape because there's a screw that you can get to underneath on this side and then there's a little nut here and there's a screw underneath and that's a real booger to get back in place and have everything work right. So I just clean around that and I usually won't take this piece off, but I do oil this. There's a uh, little mechanism here that gets pretty gummy and it really frees up nicely when you put a little oil right here and right here and just work it in. That way when you put your string, spring drum back on, it works really well. It's not perfect. It looks a lot better. And that's pretty much what I'm going for. It's It's been around a long time. It's not going to look new, but it's always uh, nice when it looks presentable and clean. So that's it for right now. Oh, one thing I did want to tell you. If, if you do take this space bar off, and when you push it down, it makes a little squeaking noise, turn it around and reinstall it, and that should uh, take care of that. Other than that, I'll be doing some more cleaning and assembly here in a little bit. There's a ribbon vibrator. It's pretty smooth. I'm going to take a minute and go over and oil a few things here. Most of these things you can get to when it's out, but it's just as easy to get to it now when it is, I should say, when it's in the machine, you can still get to most of the stuff. It's just as easy to get to it when it's out of the machine. Okay, so here's the star wheel. Right there, there's the top part that, in, that uh, rides on the carriage. And this is the bearing that spins when you, uh, it comes in contact when you do the uh, tab and then this pulls back. All right, so we've got the ribbon vibrator pretty well oiled in all the, its locations. Any spot that moves I'm going to pan back a little bit so you don't get too dizzy watching. There we go. Fingers were getting greasy and it wasn't moving. All right, so spotter two on the backspacer.
There's the tab lever. What it does is it, the tab pulls that whole star wheel back. You can see that. So then we're going to go that's the that's the right okay and flip it over oil the star wheel from underneath and then this one right here is the pivot for This is the pivot that sits underneath. Get my fingers out of the way. There we go. That's for the uh, ribbon vibrator. I just oiled this. I'm going to give it a little more. Okay. And if you can see in here, this, when you do the star wheel, when I put pressure on the star wheel, this is the, this is the escapement mechanism. That lets it go one tooth at a time. And when it doesn't advance, this isn't adjusted quite right. Sometimes it'll go three or four or five or six times when you push the space bar down and then it'll stick that's from this piece right here if you can zoom in on the video it's this piece right here doesn't go high enough to clear the star wheel and so that's where this adjustment down here there's that nut that i took out to take this center piece out that's where that nut there's a little adjustment there that you can get it just right so let's keep going here. A little oil on these little tiny springs is always good. These are the pivots for the shift. Let's give those a little oil. Free those up. And this is a little pivot. When you do a sh the shift, that's the that's the piece that hooks onto the shift lever, the shift bar. All right, so that's all oiled. I'm gonna wipe the excess off and then we'll start installing it. 